Now it's time for the pyro. He, or she, burns their foes with their flamethrower and can air blast enemies and their projectiles away. Alongside a series of shotguns, flare guns, and axes, they can mix up the action on a battlefield. Most of the Pyro's flamethrowers are partly based off an M1 flamethrower and a weed burner. I'm more leaning towards the flamethrower being a modified weed burner due to the layout of the weapon and what appears to be some kind of gas rather than napalm or a similar flammable liquid. The back burner is pretty much just the stock flamethrower with a dragon head on the end of it. The degreaser is made out of a gas pump, a car muffler, an exhaust pipe, a fire extinguisher of all things, and a stovetop burner. Gasoline was often used as a degreasing agent in auto repair during the 60s. The Nostromo Napalmer is based off the flamethrowers made by Dennis Parker in Alien. It shares stats with the stock flamethrower. If you wear the MK50 alongside it, you'll do 4 times the damage to scouts wearing the full Isolationist Pack loadout. The Rain Blower is, um, I don't know what the Rain Blower is. It looks a bit like the periscopes on the yellow submarine to me. Using it enables the pyrovision effect. The Phlogistonator takes its name from Phlogistonon a substance that was believed to come from burning material in the 1700s. It looks quite similar to the Unnatural Selector by the Weta Workshop. The Dragon's Fury is not really based off anything I could find. The top of it kind of reminds me of those bins from Half-Life 2. The mechanics are based off the Incinery Cannon from Team Fortress Classic. The stock shotgun is an Ithaca 37 with a sawn off barrel. Pyro is the only class that will rack the slide on the shotgun. The reserved shooter has a resemblance to a Mossberg 500 with a sawn off barrel in stock. The panic attack is based off a Winchester model 1897 in trench gun configuration. Once again, the barrel has been sawn down and a drum magazine has been added to the front. The flare gun is similar to an Orion flare gun with the latching mechanism of an M8 flare pistol. Flare guns are used either as a distress signal or a source of illumination in real life. Some flare guns have been used as weapons during World War 1 and 2, either modified to fire non-flare rounds or as a makeshift weapon. The detonator has a tiger stripe appearance that may have been influenced by the painted M79 thumper grenade launcher in Apocalypse Now. The man melter is another Dr. Grodbort weapon, released as part of the Moon Man pack. It also has a real life prop counterpart. I asked Square, one of the creators of the Scorch Shot, about its origin, and it is, in his words, a Franken gun, based off several different flare guns. The Thermal Thruster is a jetpack that allows the Pyro to have two charges of flight time, allowing for greater mobility. Jetpacks have existed since the 50s and 60s, but they really only have become practical recently. The Gas Passer is a throwable can of gasoline. The canister resembles an oil can rather than a gas or jerry can. Fire axes differ from regular axes by having a pick shape on the opposite end of the cutting edge. It's normally painted in bright colours to make it visible for emergencies. The lolly chop is a giant lollipop. It grants the pyrovision effect when equipped. It has the same stats as the stock axe. The extinguisher appears to be a crudely constructed fire axe wrapped up in barbed wire. The postal pummeler is a post box. I keep calling it the Postal Plumber for some reason. The Home Wrecker is a sledgehammer. Before becoming part of the game, it was a skin for the extinguisher called Mr. Sledge. The Mall is a promotional item for the game Red Faction Armageddon. It is based off a sledgehammer from the game with the same name. It shares stats with the Home Wrecker. The Power Jack is a car battery attached to an antiques automotive jack. This thing must be really, really heavy. The back scratcher is a gardening rake. 
I think it's a type of rake called a heavy duty rake, but I couldn't confirm it. The sharpened volcano fragment is a promotional weapon made for Rift. I'm not really sure if lava has ever been used as a battle weapon in real life. The third degree is another part of the Dr. Grodbort Moon Man pack. It keeps the retro futuristic look of the other items in the set. The Neon Annihilator is a neon sign with a Chinese word for bar written on it. It was originally going to be a lantern, but it was changed because an unreleased weapon called the Baleful Beacon was too similar. The Hot Hand is a fireman's glove. It was originally going to be called the Slap Attack, which I don't know if it was a better name or not. 